years of experience and an enormous military accumulation that occupies an important place in world history. Here is the Russian army. The military experience of the Russian army is known as a feature unique to a few armies in the world, especially during the Cold War period that started after the Second World War. Russia was one of the two poles of the world. This influence of Russia was definitely due to its military power. Both in the past and today, the Russian army shows its military investments and advanced weapons in a way that challenges the world. Yes, this week we will tell you about the most advanced fighter jet of this powerful army, the Su-57. Fifth generation fighter jets have taken an important place on the world's agenda in recent years. States want to equip their armies with fifth generation and even sixth generation weapons. The quest for power of states has never changed in the historical process. States that always want to maximize their power closely follow technological developments. The technological development that takes place in one country is quickly produced by other countries. For this reason, states that do not want the technological gap to widen fall into a security dilemma. So what are these fifth generation fighter jets? If you are ready, here we go. Fifth generation fighters are advanced aircraft characterized by a number of features that distinguish them from previous generation fighters. Stealth is the most critical feature for fifth generation fighters. Fifth generation fighters are designed to be stealthy with a low radar cross section, RCS, which makes them difficult to detect by radar. This is achieved through a number of design features, including the use of chins double sloping vertical tails, and internal weapons bays. In addition, fifth generation fighters tend to have a high proportion of composite materials, which can help reduce their visibility. Another critical feature is known as high maneuverability. Fifth generation fighters are designed to be highly maneuverable with advanced flight control systems and thrust vectoring capabilities that allow them to perform a wide range of high G maneuvers. They also tend to have short field capabilities, which means they can take off and land on relatively short runways. Advanced avionics are another critical feature of fifth generation fighters. Fifth generation fighters are equipped with advanced avionics systems that enable them to collect and process information from a variety of sources, including radar, sensors, and other aircraft. These systems can help pilots maintain situational awareness and make quick decisions on the battlefield. Fifth generation fighters can also maintain supersonic speeds for long periods of time without reheating, a capability known as supercruise. This allows them to cover large distances quickly and respond to a wide range of threats. Networked data. Fusion is another critical feature of fifth generation fighters. Fifth generation fighters are designed to be part of a networked battlefield with the ability to share information and coordinate their activities with other aircraft and ground-based systems. This allows them to have a comprehensive view of the battlefield and respond to threats in a timely and effective manner. Fifth generation fighters are designed as multi-role aircraft capable of performing a wide range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground attack, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR. They are equipped with various sensors and weapons that enable them to fulfill these missions effectively. Currently, there are very few fifth-generation fighter projects in active use and under development in the world. This high technology is not available to every state. It is not possible to develop these aircraft without many years of research and development and technical infrastructure. The countries that possess this technology worldwide are the USA, China, Russia, Turkey, India and Japan. Russia's fifth-generation fighter aircraft is the Sukhoi 57, also known as Su-57, which is the subject of our video, 
Manufactured by Sukhoi, Russia's leading aviation company, the Su-57 represents Russia's fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau to replace the Su-27 and MiG-29 in the Russian Air Force, the Su-57 is an important component of Russia's ongoing efforts to modernize and develop its Air Force capabilities. According to reports in the Russian media, the Russian Ministry of Defense, in cooperation with PJSC Sukhoi Company, signed a comprehensive agreement for the acquisition of a total of 76 serial production Su-57 fighter jets. This agreement, which was signed separately in 2018 and includes the first two aircraft, is expected to be completed in 2027. By the end of 2022, significant progress was made within the scope of the contract and 11 serial production Su-57 fighter jets were delivered. In 2023, the Russian Air Force received a total of 8 Su-57 fighter jets. The Su-57 is a multi-purpose fifth generation fighter aircraft. It is designed to strike against all air, land and water surface targets monitor airspace at significant distances from deployment bases, to render enemy headquarters, command centers and control systems inoperable. The Su-57 can carry a wide range of guided and unguided weapons, including air-to-air, -air, short, medium and long-range missiles, smart 250, 500 and 1500 kilos ammunition. The Su-57 combines the functions of an attack aircraft and a fighter, while the use of composite materials makes it inferior to 35 generation fighters such as the Su-4.5 in radar and infrared signature compared to previous models with similar characteristics. Despite the use of composite materials, some design flaws such as the exposed metal connection points on the fuselage and the exposed engines have led to the questioning of the aircraft's low visibility feature. In line with the feedback received, Su-57 fighter jets were also started to be developed. New versions of the Russian Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet are being developed, one of which will be a two-seat version. The first flight of the Su-57 took place on 29 January 2010. At the end of 2020, the Russian armed forces received the first mass-produced Su-57. The Russian military ordered 76 Su-57 fighter jets for delivery in 2028 under a contract signed by the UAC and the Russian Ministry of Defense. Critics claim that the Su-57 is behind the times and will become obsolete in the second half of this decade when the US and Europe are expected to launch their sixth generation jets, such as the NJD US and FGAS Europe. UAC showcased the export version of the Su-57 designated Su-57E at the 2019 MAX exhibition, but this version has received little interest from international customers. The Su-57's crucial second stage engine, also called the Article 30 engine, which will provide the fighter jet with supersonic cruise speed, is said to be still in the testing phase, despite flight tests launched in December 2017. However, Su-57's which are of great importance for the Russian army, have powerful features that you would not want to encounter on the battlefield. For this reason, the aircraft is expected to be developed as field trials continue. What do you think about the fifth generation fighter jet technology? What do you think about Russia's fifth generation fighter jet Su-57? Do you think Su-57s are a good choice considering their positive and negative features together? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.